kids learn these skills when they're young so I am going to have her probably do most of it because it's literally as you guys saw like one two three four four ingredients plus the crust so what you're gonna need is vanilla pudding which make sure you guys get the instant vanilla pudding because I did it with the cook and serve one and it did not turn out it was totally runny totally gross it was a bummer so and you know, I have to, I, I do have to say something that when you guys were getting ready, Emberlyn was like, "Oh, hey, mom, are were you looking for the slap and spread?" I know. Yeah. Like they're gonna grow up and call me because people are gonna be like, "What?" I was the like, what? "That was awesome." Which one's the slap and spread, Emberlyn? Yes. <laughs> so we're we're teaching it to our kids. One day it'll catch on, and everybody will call it the slap and spread. <laughs> <laughs> so, you will need vanilla instant jello. You need the um, 3.4 ounce box of that. You need the ground, you need ground nutmeg. You need Cool Whip, two cups of it, and eggnog, and a pie crust. So you can do a homemade pie crust, you can do a pre-bought pie crust, you can do any kind of crust you want. We are doing the graham cracker pie Just crust. Just no butt crust. Oh, no butt crust. <laughs> I know Do you like butt crust? No. no. I, I know why it's called Cool Whip. It's why? It's cool and you whip it. Oh, oh. you whip it. Whip and it good. And what is this called right there? Do you know Dirt. what that is? That's the whisk and mix. Whisk and mix. Whisker. You're going to be using that today. Whisker. So, you guys, this recipe is so super simple and it's perfect for like Christmas desserts, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's over, but you can use it for next year. But Christmas, awesome. If you hate eggnog, you will hate this recipe, so. Well, looks like I'm hating it. Oh, you're still gonna try it. Yeah, I will try it. It's good. I'm okay, I just, I don't know why I can't drink it. It's like the consistency. Maybe you like it in a pie. It's like drinking like heavy whipped cream or something. Oh, it's so good. Ugh. Eggnog with cinnamon and ice. So good. How do you guys like your eggnog? I wanna know, let us know down below. Now in some vanilla pudding. Put in the pudding, 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 pudding. The whole thing? The whole thing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's some right there. It's like snow. It is like snow. I feel it. Uh, sure. Let it snow. There you Actually, go. She's like. <laughs> it feels like snow. Yeah. Feel it. Mm. Okay, my hands are clean. Ooh, it does. Should we make a snowman? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe later. So you got the full package of pudding. Now you have a, ha a cup and a half of eggnog. Yeah. Okay, carefully pour that in. The whole thing? Yep, the whole thing. And then you're gonna just whisk that around. Okay, now. With the whisk and mix. With the whisk and mix. Okay. So it says to it. use a hand mixer, but we're gonna go old school. What do you got? What are you using? To that's your hand. Oh, good point. See, look at you getting all no, literal. Got, okay, it. and you gotta stir it fast. We'll work together. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> look at that. See, it's already getting thicker. It's because I used the cook and serve last time. Oh yeah, last time it literally, I was like, I checked the fridge after, like the next day, cause you're supposed to let it sit for a couple hours after, and the next morning I checked and I'm like, uh, is this supposed to be runny. a little runny? And she's like, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be like that. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's real life, guys. Sometimes you mess things up. I'm like, and I do it a lot. No, you don't. Like yes, I do. No, you don't. Like on the ghost, see? <laughs> she's calling me out. Emberlin. Exactly like the ghost. Emberlin. <laughs> Be nice. 
Ooh, that smells good. Come on, babe. It does. It does smell good. It does smell it good. It so good. Do you drink eggnog, Emberlyn? Mm, what is it? No, nope, guess not. <laughs> guess not. Dip your finger and tell me if you like it. Just dip it. Do you want to try? Your hands are clean. Don't worry. That's good. Too. Let her try some eggnog right you now. You want to try? Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, you're going to taste it. And I'm going to try some, too. All right, All right, here she goes. She's trying that out. I want water. Just in case? Yeah. Okay, we got water for you. Okay, go ahead and try it, girl. Is that good? Kinda. Kinda? Mm -hmm. Let me try it. Okay. I have water? I think it's good. I think it's good. It is good. Yeah. I love it. No. I, don't, I don't see like... But it's got to be like a one, so, like I could have one large glass of it. Guys, look That's at it. this. It's got to be like cold, cold though, right? Okay. It's not even watery anymore. Okay, so, oh yeah, see, look how much thicker that is. Oh, that's way better. Way better. It's okay. got watery. So now we're going to do the Cool Whip, which it says to fold in two cups of whip topping. So, I love Cool Whip. I want to try Cool Whip. Okay, Cool Whip. It's like whipped cream. Like so how much? Oh, I tried to get your nose. <laughs> so two cups, two cups of this. Let me measure this out. Boom. Slap and spread. Slap and spread. I thought you were going to need to get it and put it on. I would never do that. <laughs> okay, I'll put this in and yeah. you, you stir it, yeah? yeah. We're going to take this out because it wants us to fold it in. Fold? What do yeah, you do with your hands? So, you fold it in with this slap and spread. How do you fold it? <laughs> so you just take, it's just basically stirring, but you just kind of go like that. Nice. Just back and forth? Yep. So you want to try that? So go ahead. This looks good. Also smells good. That looks amazing. Okay, keep on doing it back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> you're gonna be a cook when you're older, huh? Mm. Are you gonna help me make Christmas breakfast? Yeah. I mean Christmas dinner. Yeah. Yeah. We can probably make this for Christmas. I think yes. we should, because Grandma's coming for Christmas. Yay. That'll be fun. So while they get that going, you gotta check this out over here. Ooh. Tina's got some potato, cheese and potato casserole going. So good. And I have a cook with me on. Yes. As well, called funeral potatoes. Mommy, you just said you didn't have a cook with me on that. Oh, I do have one. I thought you meant, did I do one today? Total. Bam. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys. It's supposed to be nice and fluffy, just like this. Can I feel it? Yeah, it it's not slime. <laughs> Even though it looks like it. No, that looks like totally different from from when slime. I did it. Oh yeah. When I did it, it was pure liquid. Yeah. So yeah. Just like water. This one's gonna turn out. Was it like water? Okay, so then you're gonna do a dash of nutmeg. Now do you want me? You wanna stir it, stir it in? <gasps> <laughs> you too. Oh, Dad, uh. Dad's in trouble. <laughs> Oh, so rude. Dad, come over here. Don't worry, we'll get it back, guys. Come over here. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, we'll be back right after these messages. <laughs> okay, we're all cleaned up, and this actually <laughs> Thanks, looks... Dad. And this all actually looks like fluffy frosting. It does. It smells really good, too, it smells guys. smells like lemon. What about fluffy slime? That's what it looks we like. We did a video on that. We yep. did. We you also have a video of us, Danny and I, hitting each other in the face, just like you saw with whipped cream on the... Um, how well do we know it? each other? How well do we know each other challenge. Oh, we yeah. got smacked in the face, and it feels like you're drowning. So here, the nutmeg, it just says a dash of nutmeg. So we're going to do boom, boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at those muscles work. There goes Emzy. Good job, Emzy. Look at you. I'm gonna say you made this whole thing. Like, this is all you, girl. I'm proud of you. Okay, so now you guys, literally, that's it. And then you're gonna throw it into your crust. I wanna do that. 
I'm gonna do this part, I think. Aww. All right, guys, so you're just gonna literally, oh my gosh, this is so much different than the first time. First the other time one you it could was like total pull, liquid. Yeah, you were able to pour it in. <laughs> I was like, oh, this will harden in the fridge. Nope. So this one is like, oh, look at that, you guys. Oh, my mamacita. So it smells. Even the color is different. Yeah, it's totally different. It it's, smells amazing. Like amazing. It's, the color's bright. Okay, Ams, so you want to lick the bowl, girl? Yeah. Yeah, you know it. Okay, so then you're going to just slap and spread it. All in there. You didn't even slap it. Bam! <laughs> Look at that. That's a true slap That's and spread. That's why it's called slap and spread. <laughs> oh, you guys. Is that good, Emberlyn? Yeah. And I'm telling you, it does not get easier than this. It just doesn't, unless you buy it at the store. And is it like, what? Do you feel like food tastes better when you have put in the effort and time to make it? Food does that does that when, uh, does that factor into it? Like, is this gonna taste better than one you could just pick up and buy? Because you're like, you know what? I put a little bit of myself into I put this. Put a little bit of love in it. Yeah. I don't know, actually. No. Because sometimes it's nice to eat other people's food. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, does that make sense? Yeah, I love Betty Crocker's. Oh yeah. <laughs> Betty Crocker is what? You're actually. I love Sarah Lee, actually. <laughs> Who's Sarah? Sarah Lee? Her cheesecake is oh, amazing. Her cheesecake is amazing. <laughs> okay, here. So we're going to do this. We're okay. just going to dash or put a little bit of nutmeg on top to if see. it comes out. But could just, you put cinnamon on it if you wanted? You could, but the recipe says nutmeg, so I'm going to just stick with that. Check that out. It's raining nutmeg. It's raining nutmeg. Hallelujah. You guys, it does not get you. I'm telling you. This Who has had this? Can I do it? Who has had eggnog pie? Can I do it? That's it. We're done. Mm. Boom. Awesome. All right, you guys. So now that we have it all in the pie crust, we're going to just put it in the fridge for a couple. It calls for two hours, but it says you can leave it in overnight. So we're going to put it in the fridge. We're going to go to a friend's house for dinner. Then we'll come back and we'll taste test it for you guys. All right, you guys, we just pulled it out of the fridge. It looks delicious. It's been in there about, what, four or five hours, something like that. So we're going to cut this up, and we're going to try this out, see how it turned Ooh. out. Here we go. Ooh, you can actually cut through this one. I know. The other one was, like, not. Still pretty runny, though. Not going to lie. Yeah, but it's better than the other one. Right? Way better. It's a Y. See? Could you see the Y? Sure yeah. can. All right, little graham cracker crust. Ooh, look at that. That is just my style. My favorite pie is coconut cream pie. So I like like creamy pies. Maybe because I like ice cream. I don't what? know. But this is, oh, this is going to be good. I never even so tried. So there it is. I Try never tried pie before. Try just like this. You've tried pumpkin pie. No. No? All right, try it out. <laughs> try it. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm trying it. Mm, that's in the middle, actually. Mmm. That's good. Go to that daddy and do your just put it out. Oh no. If you love eggnog, you will love this. This is, I don't think she likes eggnog that much, to be honest, but. I'll try it. You wanna try it? I'll try it off camera. I'll tell me a separate piece. I'm not feeling well. Okay, here. Don't It's good. Ashley. I'm not huge on eggnog, but it's That's actually it's actually flavorful. It's good. It's actually really good. Like I like I want a piece. You do? Yeah. And you don't love eggnog. No. So let's see what Ashley. Like you don't. Okay, so we're gonna have Ashley try it because she likes eggnog. So try it. Tell me what you think. That's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yummy, huh? Can you try it? Uh, yeah, it's delicious. I do good. too. I, it's a nice. I actually really like it with the graham cracker crust too. I feel like a regular crust, I don't know, I just wouldn't be as much of a fan, I don't think. But graham cracker crust with this, delicious. All right, you guys, that is it for this cook with me, the egg nog pie. It was a hit for me. My whole family doesn't love eggnog, so like I said, if you don't like eggnog, you're not gonna like this recipe, but if you love eggnog, 
you will love this recipe. It is so good, so easy, amazing for the holidays, and what else? Choose your day. Oh yeah, choose your day and? Subscribe. Yeah. And, and put a like. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you